Anytime I mess up on set, I just look at him like, look, you know who you hired, okay? <laughs> and everyone gets a little laugh at it. I, I get to call. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is the season where everyone's rolling over to the Hallmark Channel to watch their favorite movies. The, here's the thing about Hallmark movies. A lot of them feature artists or, or actors that you may not have seen before. But we found one where you're definitely going to recognize the star of the show. Tanner Novlin, who's starring in Christmas Class Reunion, a Hallmark original film that's out tomorrow on Hallmark, of course, is with us. Hi, Tanner. Welcome to the show. Tanner! Hey. What's up, guys? Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for having me. So it's kind of funny how the, interesting rather, how the Hallmark holiday movie season has evolved into this bigger than life event every year. Do you have friends or people in your family that are sucked into Hallmark every holiday? Yeah, I'm sucked into Hallmark every holiday. I mean, I feel like it's the kickoff. It used to be, I think, like the Christmas music would start kicking on and you'd be like, oh, well, OK, this is when, you know, we got to kick into gear. Now, I think it's the movies. We're able to put it on in the background and, and, and let some run where you maybe wrap some paper or something like that. And then you get sucked in. It has all the lights behind everyone. There's Christmas trees everywhere. I, I love it. That's the problem. I feel like I'll watch one and then I'll go, let me just let me just see what this one's about before I get up and do something. And then I get sucked in and then I'm <laughs> sitting there for another whole movie. It's ridiculous. Crazy. But the good thing is it always works out. It does. It always works out. <laughs> always works out. It does in the end. Let's let's get into the psychology of a Hallmark movie in just a second. Let's let's get back to you. Tanner, uh, we've yeah. seen you on uh, Roswell, New Mexico. We've seen you on uh God, Bold and the Beautiful, right? Yes, sir. And uh, of course. Where we see you now, this is, I laugh every time I see the commercial. This is Tanner <laughs> right, right here. Liberty Lutual. Cut. A Liberty Lutual. Cut. What's the line? Cut. Liberty Mutual. Liberty Lutual. Liberty Mutual. The statue's on the other side. Liberty. Cut. Liberty. Line. <laughs> <laughs> Forever, I could use that as an excuse. I, I, it is the greatest gift as an actor to play a bad actor, because now I can just, anytime I mess up on set, I just look at him like, look, you know who you hired, okay? <laughs> and everyone gets a little laugh at it, I, I get to calm down. <laughs> so let's talk about the, I guess, I'm using the word psychology, the psychology behind a great Hallmark holiday film, including yours, Christmas Class Reunion, which debuts tomorrow. What is it about these films from an actor's point of view that makes them so appealing to so many people? Well, I think it's just, uh, they're feel good. And that's what we want around this time of year is a feel good movie. And you're right. They do usually end up, you know, there's a lot of twists. There's a lot of turns in them, but they usually end up in a, in a really good uh, a space for everyone like that. So th I think that's what I love about them. Right. And there is kind of a form formulaic way of the writing and production and everything. And uh, but Christmas class reunion, when you give us the synopsis of this film that's debuting tomorrow, it may match up a little bit with others that have been out in the past. But may not. So what is the, what is it about this film? What's it about? Yeah, this one's got a little bit of a different spin on it, which is what was appealing for me. Um, it's It has a little bit more of an ensemble class. Um, it's about this class of uh, reunion. We're trying, it's 15 years. We're this cursed class. We've tried to get together for um, years. It's always been spoiled. Our graduation never worked out. And everyone has these big expectations when they're in high school and what they're going to be and what they're going to become. And 15 years later, we get to find out that maybe that, you know, never came true for everyone, but it's kind of who you once were and who you are now and, and being okay with that. So, um, you know, you learn a lot of lessons along the way. It, it touches on a lot of great themes. Wait, don't you play the bad boy in this? Hey, I'm always the bad boy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Hallmark bad boy. Let's be honest here. <laughs> It's a bit of a goof, which is a goofball. I mean, it's all good fun. Well, so uh, I'm assuming it's all going to end happily ever after, as they all do. And that's, we are looking for more situations uh, in our lives that do end happily ever after. And I'm sure Christmas class reunion will definitely scratch that itch. I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to lie. I hope so. You will. Yeah, well, of course I will. Oh, good. My pitch, is, my pitch is working on you? Okay, <laughs> so that's good. So we got good. one. I got one, guys. This is great. Wait, okay, let's so play it. Wait, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. In this movie, are you the person who stayed in the town, or did you go to the big city and you're coming back to the town? Because there's only <laughs> one of two. <laughs> oh, you have watched these before. Okay. Yeah, you're <laughs> up to it. Yeah. Um, I, had, I stayed in the town. Oh, bad boy. Okay. And <laughs> working for my family business. Okay. Um, but they're uh, two completely different. Uh, Amy Teagarden uh, plays Elle. 
uh, who's the other love interest and she comes from the big city and but they're two diff very different people um her being more of a type a class president type of person and uh deb and my character being more of a goofball and a stay-at-home guy but they've both kind of changed over time and so it's it's interesting to see their relationship rekindle after all these years right so well, when you were going to high school with l you two were not together right no we kicked the movie off in a pretty epic way of uh Showing that we do not get along very well. Exactly. And, uh, <laughs> Devin has some debts to be paid. It's real life stuff with Gandhi's real life. Yes. Now, Gandhi, tell us the story about your, your boyfriend. My current boyfriend was my sixth grade nemesis. We were so mean to each other back in the day. And then we grew up and I ran into him in New York City and... It was a Hallmark movie ever since. Isn't that weird? This is a, it's this is the movie. I know. Uh, Gandhi, you're Gandhi, living the movie. He based it on Gandhi. This is nuts. So you know, and this is why we should go back to our high school reunions. I have totally shirked any responsibility in going back to any of mine because you Did don't you want go to back? hang out with those people. The thing is, those people aren't the same people anymore. As you and and L will prove, your characters will prove in a Christmas class reunion. Anyway, so yeah, I want to play a game with you. All right. Okay. Do you like games? <laughs> I love games. I'm down. I'm a gamer. Hallmark flick or trick. Ooh. All right. I'm going to give okay. you the name of a film, and you tell me whether it was actually a Hallmark flick or no, it's a trick. It's not real. Are you ready? <laughs> okay. I love this. Okay. okay. I'm going to see. Let's see, wow. see how you do, Tanner. I take this uh, seriously. Christmas class reunion. <laughs> okay. okay. The synopsis: A group of friends reunite for their 15th high school reunion at Christmas, ready to ignite unrequited—I can't use unrequited. it. Unrequited loves, reconnect with new friends, and enjoy the holiday season. I mean, I think this is probably uh, a Hallmark movie. Maybe even coming out uh, uh, December 10th, 8, 7 Central. <laughs> Am I close? Very good, okay. Very good. Okay. Well, that was a stupid throwaway on our part. But let me give you this one. Is All this, right, that's a warm up. Is this a hallmark flick or trick? A Christmas yeah. wedding tale. All right. A couple and their dogs meet in the park, but love doesn't go according to plan. Therefore, it's up to the telepathically communicating dog to bring the prospective family together in time for the holidays. Do you think that's a real flick or a trick? <laughs> okay. I think that this is mm, the dog. Might be a little okay. I think you're tricking me, uh, Daniel. What do you think? I think it's a trick. Do you think it's you think it's real or not? Telepathic the dog dogs, part, right? It's a trick. This is actually a flick. Shut up! No! Get the hell out of here! Get out! No way! You know what? Christmas and a cute dog. I, I okay. All right. It's two one. dogs working in tandem to telepathically bring people together in oh, a Christmas yeah. wedding tale. Oh my goodness! T a i l. By the way, oh. right, puppies and Christmas. One. Let me give you another one. Uh, is this a Hallmark flick or trick, mistletoe hello, hear me out. After suffering an allergic reaction from accidentally eating mistletoe during a fraternity hazing ritual, a man falls in love with the doctor treating him. What do you think, Ooh, trick that's... or flick? Oh, it's you guys. Hazing is a little racy, I think. For I think that's a, I think you're tricking me again. You're absolutely right, Yay! it's not real. Ah! You got one, you Hallmark got one. Hallmark would never allow hazing. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, here's another one. Is this a hallmark flick or trick? Ready? The Santa incident. Huh? After his sleigh is shot down while flying through restricted military airspace, an earthbound Santa is sought for questioning by a pair of overzealous Homeland Security agents. Yes or no? Flick or trick? Oh, gee. Okay, the Homeland Security agents would be very hallmark. But shot down by Santa getting shot out of the sky. You're tricking me again. No, this is an actual No! Oh, oh my God! Stop it! They shot Santa out of the sky. They Hallmark did. shot Santa out of the air. Like, did a reindeer go down? This, is must, have been, this must have been like an after hours flick on oh Hallmark. Oh my Town. goodness. Right, Dasher and Dancer didn't make it. I know. Crasher. I'll give you one more. Help on a shelf. Is this a Hallmark flick or trick? Synopsis. After being accidentally shrunk during a failed home experiment, a Scroogey man must manipulate the now larger than life elf on the shelf in order to help from his family, get help from his family, learning love in the process. Is this a trick or a flick oh, from Hallmark? Damn. Oh man, this is, I would first off watch this. Yeah. Second, I think this is a Hallmark movie. No, it's oh, not. Uh, I'm really bad at this. Wait, somebody needs I'm to make really these. Yeah, now quickly. you need to make, make this it. one. I copyright these. Okay. Yeah, I, you made that up. Who yeah. made these? Well, look. Wow. Uh, tomorrow is the day. It's nice to finally know someone that's actually in a Hallmark holiday movie. Yeah, Tanner. 
Christmas Class Reunion. It's uh, debuting tomorrow on Hallmark. It's an original film from Hallmark. And what a pleasure to meet you. I hey, man, nice thing. Thanks for having us, man. And keep in mind... Liberty Lucha. Cut. <laughs> a Liberty Lucha. Cut. What's the line? Cut. Liberty... Me have you ever done voiceovers before? Have you ever done... Have you ever no, done I haven't done any... Vo no, I, I, I haven't. It's the uh, worst. But maybe... It's, is it? Now you know. Never do them. <laughs> anyway. Well, I'm really, I'm really bad at them, so don't look at it. <laughs> Tanner, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. You have a very Merry Christmas, okay? Take care. Hey, you too. Nice meeting you guys. Appreciate you. You too. <laughs> you too. Bye. All right. Have a good one. You Bye. too. Take care. The Mercedes-Benz Interview Lounge.